what's up guys thanks for tuning into my channel so this is a love reading for the sign of aquarius so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you know when i do post your readings and also you can follow me on social media my social media is in the description box below and i have only one announcement for right now um and that is that i will be traveling out of the country oh here you are mm. i'll be traveling out the country so i don't know um if i'll be able to post while i'm overseas but um if you guys don't see me post for like three weeks that's why it's because i'm not here <laughs> and i'm not sure if i'll be able to so we'll see you know what i'm saying but don't all follow me just because you think that i'm i've disappeared or that i'm not posting or that i'm just being inactive no i'm just out the country i'm um, gonna be on vacation i'm actually excited now especially since i know that i can still be a vegan over there because i was so scared i was like having high anxiety about it i was like bro i don't even fucking think that i want to go because like i'm a vegan and most people over there are not vegans but little did i know there are vegan restaurants there are ways to be vegan so i'm excited i'm like more excited now than i was before all right so let's get into your love reading you have the hanging man. You have the five of swords. You have the six of cups. You have judgment. Page of pentacles. Eight of cups. Three of Wands, Justice. I freaking was thinking about of Justice when um, Judgment came out, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. But this is so interesting to me. This is so interesting to me because oh my God, somebody is coming through in this message right now. Um, okay, so you have the Hanged Man, you have the Five of Swords, and you have the Six of Cups. If you're attuned to my energy right now, I'm feeling you high key. Um, I'm feeling you high key, bro. I feel, I feel you. So this is Piscean energy. This is a Pisces. This is Piscean energy. So with the Five of Swords, this is like conquering something or overcoming something, but not in the best of ways. And with the Six of Cups, it has something to do with a lover possibly from a past life you've probably known this person from a past life or from this life but in the past um but it, it has like older energy now i'm not i'm not even saying that this is an older person although they could be for some of you guys but it's like it's like time there's time even though like this energy exists outside of time so it's like you guys have known each other before so that's what I'm getting. You guys have known each other in a past life. Maybe this is some type of karma. Oh, fuck. Yes, bro. When I tell you that I forget the cards that I pulled, I, for I freaking forget the cards that I pulled. So this is like maybe a karmic situation for you guys. I feel like this is a karmic situation for y'all. And it's just like the situation just probably wasn't the best. There's something that happened. And... Either somebody left or isolated themselves or like something was broken or somebody like gained some type of power or dominion over someone, but not in the best of means. Yeah, not in the best of means, not in the best of ways. So like I said, this is karma. This is karma. A karmic situation but also this is judgment 
you have the page of um, Pentacles and you have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like, like I said, this is a karmic situation. Um, this is something that you see differently now. Um, yeah, I feel like you see things differently now. with this with this situation whatever situation this may be yeah i feel like you see what you um actually want now i feel like you see what you actually want in this life and i feel like you're walking away from a situation that is just no longer for your highest good i feel like you've been you've been called to make a judgment over this situation um i feel like there's been some type of enlightenment through this situation it's like a situation just like glue dry And now you're like looking for opportunities outside or elsewhere. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you're looking for opportunities elsewhere. I see light to dark. So maybe this situation grew dark for some of you guys. And I don't even want to say dark because dark energy is needed. I want to say lower vibrational. It grew too heavy. It became too heavy. So I feel like some of you guys felt like you had to drop a burden. Or somebody felt like they had to drop a burden. But it wasn't in the best of ways. So now you're going on to a new path. Like literally leaving something and going on to a new path, right? That's so funny. Like, it, it literally works like a book. So you have the Three of Wands, you have Justice, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is, um, this right here is Libra energy. This could also be, this might also have something to do with the court system. Um, but anyways, Justice is being called on this situation. And it's, it's like you just have to leave, or somebody has to leave, somebody has to create a path for themselves and them creating their own path is bringing stability or some of you guys see stability in something else on a, in on a new path you guys see stability on a different path on a new path a new path that you're taking you want balance you want justice and you want harmony and a new path will bring you that going on this new path is will bring you that stability that harmony that justice that you may have been seeking Something might have caused you to go on a new path just because of how things went down. Okay, so let's get some advice cards. Okay, so you have Umania, Golden Opportunity. Yemaya mm -hmm. Okay, so you have infinite supply. 
your supply for today and all of your tomorrows. I look, I'm just going to put these over the cards that I want to elaborate more on because these are literally saying the same things I was saying. We have Eric here blossoming. Okay. Okay, so you got Yemiya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. These doors are opening for you. And now it's time. I feel like now is the time. There's something else that you're supposed to be doing. There's, there's a path that you're supposed to be walking on. And whatever path this is, this new path, it's it's healthy. It's better. It's something that you're actually supposed to be doing and you're being guided on that path. Spirit is guiding you. You have Sedna, infinite supply. Your supply for today and all of your tomorrows. So, like I said, once you go on this path, if there's any lack that you may have felt this ten of pentacles right this complete stability this is like material stability also familial um stability like if you have a partnership if you're getting into a relationship there's stability in it like a a new situation um but it's like you will never want for anything you never have to because the universe will always supply you with what you need. All you have to do is listen and follow the steps that you're being guided to go on. Like you're leave, you've been guided to basically leave a situation that was unhealthy. And I feel like you've woken up to that. In this picture, she's asleep. Her eyes are closed. And the hangman, his eyes are closed too. But it's like he's come to an enlightenment. He's waking up. He's waking up to this situation, whatever situation this is. This was a karmic situation for a lot of you guys. And then you guys got Eric here blossoming. You're just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. So if you guys have been hard on yourself throughout this whole situation, like really beating yourselves up, it's saying to don't. You had to go through these lessons in order to... For the universe to put you back on the right track because the truth cannot be told it can only be revealed uh revealed <laughs> it can only be like experienced you have to experience these things you have to know it for yourself nobody can tell you you have to just know for yourself through what you've been through all right so if you guys want a private reading um feel free to email me my email's in the description box below. Check out my website. Um, I'm launching a new product on my website and I'll be selling rose water. So if you guys want um, organic rose water, hit me up, let me know. My rose bushes have bloomed. So you know what I'm saying, it's time, it's time. And I also sell healing pendants. I make these by hand. This here is my Botswana agate. So if you want a healing pendant, hopefully you guys can see this pendant. If you guys want a healing pendant, let me know and I can ship those out to you. Whatever crystal you want to, um, whatever crystal you want, I'm sorry. Um, if I can find it close or near me, because like um, sometimes I can't find certain crystals and I might have to like order them, on them online. But I don't like to do that just because I like to feel their energy and see the see if they match with the person um and then i will pick them i personally pick them cleanse them and all that so yeah i love you guys so much and i will talk to you later